Hi, Rob Reynolds here at SparkFun. Have you ever found yourself needing to control a high power device with a low power device? Have you ever found yourself needing to control four high power devices with a low power device? Well, if either of these sound familiar, have we got the solution for you. Introducing the SparkFun Quick Relay and the SparkFun Quick Quad Relay. Both of these boards can easily be connected to your Arduino using SparkFun's Quick system and controlled with a simple set of I squared C commands. They each have two I squared C addresses, which you can change using the solderable jumper on the back, but they're also software configurable. So if you had the desire and power, you could, in theory, daisy chain over 100 of these together. But please, by Grapthar's hammer, don't. For safety on these boards, the ground pour is isolated from the relays. There's an air gap around the common pin on the relays, and the large trace width on the relay pins far exceeds the peak 5 amp current. The quick single relay board uses the Omron relay and is rated for 250 volts AC and a whopping 125 volts DC. The relay itself is rated for 10 amps, but the constraints of the board limit you to 5.5 amps. The quick quad relay board uses a slightly different relay module, allowing 250 volts AC, 30 volts DC at 5 amps per channel. And the onboard AT Tiny on the quad board allows you to easily send commands, so looking at the quad board, you can toggle individual relays or control them all at once. So let's say you have an old robot who's developed an inflated sense of importance. He may want the lights to turn on as he walks down the hall. He may have you set up a simple project that illuminates the hallway as he walks down it towards his door. Using the quick quad relay board and a proximity sensor and simple commands like toggle relay one, you could easily do that for him. This is also good in case your robot's afraid of the dark. Now when using relays, there is the chance that you're gonna be using some very high voltage. If you're not comfortable with that, you might wanna stick with the IoT power relay also on our site. But if you're looking for some high power control from a low power board, this is a great little system. might want to stick with our IoT power relay, but they're also software of the board. But they also, but it's also, but the I squared C address, but the address and controlled with a simple set of quick commands, I squared C commands. Okay, they each have two, once again, once again, 